So this is why I love this extension here. If I select some text, if you notice as I change the selection here, I can see above and below where I have other matches of the exact same text. And the second I select something that doesn't match, I can see that as well. And so I could dial it back to find out where that divergence is at. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. Sometimes I paste in some code and I want to compare it to other code in the file. I think it's the same. And so I could take this here. I could start up a selection. I could select part of this here, copy it. I could then do a search here and paste it in. Of course, I get a partial match there. And so maybe I want to copy some more and see if I get more of a match. Yes, I know I could visually inspect it, but at the end of the day, I don't like to rely on that to compare text. Instead, what I prefer to do is none of this here. I don't want to search for anything. Instead, when I make a selection here, note right now that I've made a selection of only this first instance of this code. All right, so if I come over here, I'm going to enable the plugin to do this here. And then I'll come over here. I'm going to restart Vim. That plugin will be enabled now. So now watch what happens when I start my selection here. So if you notice down below, not only am I selecting the text on the current line, I'm selecting the text on the line below because that text matches. In fact, if I come back here, you can see up above, I have a match as well if I don't use the equal sign. And of course, as I go here, that top match drops out because it doesn't have the dot dot. And so now I can just continue to select word by word here until, oh, there you go. You can see I no longer have a match here. So now I know exactly the point at which there's a divergence between the text on the first line and the text on the second line. And that's thanks to this match select plugin, which essentially just takes whatever you've selected and it looks for other occurrences of it. If it finds them, it then highlights them with a special highlight group. That's really all there is to it. Let me show you another example of this here. If I come over to this line right here, I can start up a selection as well. I might suspect that I have some duplicates of this. And there you go. You can see right down below, I've got a duplicate right there. I can select through the end there to see that that's an exact match for the rest of the line. So essentially, you can think of this as an alternative to copying some text and performing a search here to find it. Instead, you don't have to do that. Just based on the selection you make, you have an automatic or an implicit search that highlights other instances of that text. And the cool thing is here, let me add a line down below here, put in some more duplicates. The cool thing is if I start a selection and I go back here and I wrap around a line, look at this. You can see this can span multiple lines. So it's not just a single line. It's not limited to X amount of characters. It will take whatever selection you make. 